Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sijesh and this video we will see how Unity Catalog captures the lineage. So Unity Catalog capture the runtime data lineage across queries running in your Databricks workspaces. So the lineage is supported for all languages and uh, it's captured even down to the column level. So this lineage data comes from a notebook workflows and dashboard related query so we can uh, see that this lineage uh, can be visualized from the data explorer or uh, databricks rest api so this demo we will uh, take some one example and see how this lineage looks like so let's uh, jump into the demo so this is our meta store and uh, so we are going to create a new uh, catalog schema and a few tables and uh, we'll do some transformation and create a new uh, tables and we'll see that example i've already collected those example here in my workspace in the notebook let me uh, go to that example so the first i'm going to create a catalog so lineage uh, catalog and uh, create a schema inside that catalog okay so let's uh, go ahead and execute and uh, at the same time ensure you have a um, cluster attached to this notebook and which is up and running so let and uh, this is a sql uh, notebook and uh, let me just execute this one so once uh, this execute Okay, without any error the same time you can just uh, see uh, here the lineage catalog a new catalog has created and uh, inside that <coughs> we created a schema or which is nothing but the database called lineage schema and the next we are going to create a uh, table so this is the table okay the under lineage catalog and lineage schema the menu is the table which we are going to create and uh, which is having the column recipe id app main and set okay so this is the table creation and then we are adding a uh, few contents into that table so this is the table a name the catalog schema then the table and we are inserting that into this table then the next we are going to create a new table and uh, which is um, from the select uh, from this menu table so what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to create a new table called dinner so which is basically uh, doing some query or select statement on this menu so let's execute this uh, statements and uh, again it's a sql one just change it to sql okay so then uh, execute okay so this will create a table called menu then add some contents into this table called menu and then create a table called dinner okay so two tables and uh, we can see that the status job is still in running and uh, let's refresh this page and see those tables okay menu is created and uh, inside the menu so this is the content and sample data if you look here so this is how it looks like and uh, you can see uh, one more table okay menu and the dinner both are created so dinner is basically uh, from the select statement on the menu okay and uh, so this is how uh, that uh, dinner looks like and uh, if you uh, search that table okay and uh, maybe what you can do is just to go to that table dinner and uh, there is an option to uh, view the lineage okay so hit this lineage and uh, you can visualize this uh, see the lineage graph 
and this will show you how this table is created uh, you can see uh, we have this table and from this table we have created this dinner table and uh, if you just click on the column you can see how this uh, column uh, is used and okay say for example dessert it's used in the full name main is also dessert used here and uh, you can see that in detail okay how your uh, columns are like a recipe id yes which is mapped to here and the application uh, app id sorry app, not application app uh, which is also used in the full menu and the main and the dessert so this is how uh, you can see the lineage and the next uh, uh, we will uh, use some python code and uh, we are going to create a uh, few more tables uh, the first one uh, you can see so we are creating a data frame with id and recipe id and using some random uh, number and uh, the price here and uh, we are creating that into a table called a price okay so inside this lineage catalog catalog then this schema and we are going to write as a table here okay so this will create a new table called price then the next we will read these two tables the dinner and price and uh, we will create a join on uh, this recipe id and finally we are writing that into a table called dinner price so let's execute this statement uh okay so table or view uh, does not found okay so the reason is there is a typo here okay so it's a lineage catalog lineage schema so let's execute this one more time all right so this is executed and uh, there is a new table called a dinner price so again uh, you can search that here like uh, dinner underscore price let me just uh, back to the main and uh, dinner underscore price so this is the table we, we created and uh, you can just search dinner underscore price right so you can see the table then go to that table so this is the same way and uh, which is uh, finally ultimately reaching here and here you can see uh, what are the contents okay so we have a dinner price a new table is created and go to this lineage option and uh, if you uh, see this lineage uh, option you can see the dinner price is from this two okay so you can expand the details okay so this table again if you expand this uh, from the menu this is created and uh, from the dinner and price we have created dinner price table and uh, uh, you can see that uh, what are the associated tables uh, that are used in this lineage and which notebook uh, this is used and uh, any any workflow which is using this it will list any pipeline dashboard queries etc it will list so this is something like the tables uh, that associated tables and uh, notebook what are the other notebook which is using and if it's using uh, any workflow uh, this particular table so that will list all uh, this lineage information you can get from here so currently uh, we we are using this is from a notebook okay so i think uh, let me just refresh this and lineage so this is the tables and uh, um, which are um, i mean so this dinner price is using and this is the notebook where it's using you can you can click and uh, uh, reach to that notebook okay which notebook uh, is used to generate 
any workflow it's using any pipeline any dashboard path and queries we will get all information from here and uh, uh, next we will see uh, okay now so far we have seen uh, the lineage which is generated from the notebook uh, application and we will see an example of workflow okay for that uh, let me go to my uh, second notebook so which is nothing but uh, just uh, querying uh, this menu table you can execute and see how it looks like so the normal execution, uh, like uh, it's a normal notebook uh, with the using SQL and uh, from this catalog, this schema menu is the table and which we are listing. And we can schedule as a workflow here. So you can uh, use this schedule option and uh, you can use whatever the name, lineage, demo, workflow or whatever the name you can use. And uh, if you want to schedule, yes, you can use that. Manual means it's a one time activity and uh, whatever the cluster uh, you want to uh, use yes use that cluster and any parameter or any alerting option yes you can use that so if you uh, use this and run now uh, you can go to this workflows okay and uh, new workflow as created the same thing you can uh, do from here create a job option that we have done from there like the same thing uh, create a job and uh, you can use some name and what type of uh, application it's it's a notebook and which notebook uh, whatever the notebook uh, so you have selected the same thing you can select and schedule the same thing only we have done from the notebook menu and this is executed one time and again uh, you can run it on an ad hoc basis or you can schedule based on the certain trigger so basically it's a workflow and this workflow uh, is making use of that notebook and that notebook doing just a uh, query uh, like uh, doing a select query. So now if we look into uh, that uh, lineage, okay, so what is the table that we used uh, menu. So just search for uh, this menu and uh, look into the lineage. Okay, let me refresh this page. So you can search that uh, table here, okay, or from here also from the data menu also you can get. So the menu and uh, back to lineage. So it's in the downstream because uh, from here, so this work workflow you can see so this is uh, accessed by this workflow you can see that detail and notebook and whatever the notebook um, i mean upstream and downstream you can choose this option and uh, you can see that workflow uh, which is using this and uh, you can go to that workflow and get the detail so this way uh, you can get the lineage so uh, by default uh, the lineage is enabled and uh, it capture data from um, notebook workflows and uh, dashboard also so for the dashboard demo i will show you later but uh, at very high level so you can view uh, how the, your data is transformed and what are the tools uh, uh, which is using etc from this lineage hope it's very clear Thank you for watching this video. We will see you in the next video. Bye.